apparently. Yeah, All looks right. like it got red on it. We're going to be uh, testing out this Curtis controller. We have our mobile power supply over here, the lone bar, our uh, 96 volts. We have them plugged into this cord here, which gives us two alligator clips. One's a red and one's a negative. We hook up our negative to the negative wire, which is this one, the negative terminal. This one right next to where all the terminals going in are. And we hook our negative up there. We have our motor wires here. This is our, our positive motor wire. And he goes over to here. We have our negative motor wire here. And he also goes over to the other motor. Now our series motor, of course, we've got our jumper wire going across the field in the armature. So we have two wires here that the power goes in. Back over to here. These lower two terminals here are what attaches to your throttle box. Uh, a 5 k potentiometer, which reads zero at, uh, at rest. We have, uh, so we're going to be hooking our positive up to here. Now we're not going to just hook this up. We're going to charge it slowly with this light bulb. I've got the light bulb here. We use that right there. We'll see the light gets bright and then gets dim. I'm going to get another shot of that light. Uh -huh. This is as the, I guess we, now, now the capacitors are charged up, so it won't do it. Let's see if it'll do it now. Yeah. Actually, I think I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so after we charge the capacitors, we hook up our positive. Now you can plug it into the lawnmower and you're ready for your first test. Oh, we got one other thing we got to do, and that's the key switch wire. And for right now, we're just going to use a. This is going to come through a con through a relay from your high voltage, your high uh, B plus goes through some kind of key switch into here. Either you can have a relay. You can't. This won't be fed by your 12 volt positive system. All right, now we do our test, and there's the. Uh, so now you've tested your controller and you know that it's good. Good idea to test it when you first get it and you get set up. All right, you carefully take things apart now. Uh, taking the power out first. <laughs> Off the lawnmower. And remember, there's capacitors in here that take a while to discharge. Look at that, they're still up to 50 volts. So these capacitors, they take a while to discharge, so don't go picking it up until it uh, drained itself down. There we go. Curtis controller. A, a real easy one to hook up. Just remember, your throttle wires go down low and the B-plus wire goes up high. Now, we don't hook up this auxiliary wire here. We only hook up the motor and the B-plus. The B-plus isn't written motor plus. It's a given that you know it's a motor plus. There you go. All right.